And Norfolk Public Schools is testing the water at all of its schools for lead. The school system let us know that testing began last weekend and should be complete by the end of the school year. An independent lab will collect nearly 8,000 samples from 55 schools and facilities. And according to the division, test results will be shared with parents and staff. Too much misinformation. That's what Mayor Kenny Alexander says has happened following City Council's vote on a proposal that could bring a casino to Norfolk. Uh, tonight, Mayor Alexander announced a new commission to look into the city's decision to sell the land near Harbor Park to the Pamunkey Indian Tribe. Today, your side's Brett Hall was at the meeting and joins us live. Brett, some council members were caught off guard by this. Yeah, the irony really is that the mayor's committee that is formed to help educate the public on gaming wasn't even known to the public when people walked into the council chambers this evening. And people say that just adds to what's already been described as a communications disaster of Norfolk trying to get a casino developed in this city. Nonetheless, the resolution did pass forming the committee unanimously. Ten people are going to be appointed, Council Members Schmiegel and Johnson and eight others, some of which are also employees of the city, like the commissioner. At least one, though, also has evidence of saying she is not in favor of the way the casino situation has been handled in this city, so it's not all one-sided. The ordinance that Council approved in September is the center of all of this, as you were saying, and that sells land near Harbor Park to the Pamunkey Indian Nation if they satisfy all the terms and then can build a resort-style casino. Councilwoman Andrea McClellan, who has been outspoken against the process as well, says she approves of the committee idea, but again disapproves of the way it was brought forward. Are you deliberately trying to not include certain people because Andrea says she wasn't informed of this? This is the second time she says she wasn't informed of a resolution. Uh, Are you communicating with everybody? I, I think the resolution was on every uh, in everybody's folder. Everyone received it at the same time. So what? every council member received it at the same time. Do you know when that was? Uh, I'm not the clerk. You have to ask the clerk about that. Okay. Now, McClellan tells me tonight that it was on the dais in the council chambers when they walked in. So it was presented to them under the Freedom of Information, or the Open Meetings Law, actually, rather. That information has to be given to everybody else when it is given to them. At last check, it is still not on Norfolk City website. Now, also this evening, petitions turned in to force public hearings on the issue. Information on that on our website. Reporting live at Norfolk City Hall, Brett Hall, 10 on your side.